welcome back. Ken Leonard coming up in a second. Lots more. But first, well, you know, it's Parag Parkinson's Off the Wall. Welcome to Off the Wall. As you know, we're having a bit of trouble bringing this to you in its normal format, what with the legal problems and all of that. But don't you worry about that. We're worried enough for everybody. We have managed to come up with a bit of a competition to keep you busy, and you'd never believe what it's all about. We were told that a leading poker player was offering bribes to people to come up to him in the poker room in the Rio and to ask for his autograph. Well, we didn't believe a word of that. But then we were given the evidence. So before we tell you who it is, we thought, well, we'd give you a chance to guess. Now we want to make it totally clear to everybody that none of the other nine guys here has done anything to court publicity over and above the, the cause of duty. But there's one guy who just can't get enough of himself. All you have to do is guess who it is and send in your answer to this email address. We're going to court tomorrow and we hope to get things sorted out. The odds are against us, but truth is on our side. And we still believe that in this great country, that truth is enough to win. We'd like to thank you, the viewers, for all the kindness you've shown us in the last few days. Uh-huh. Can't comment on that, but Park. Ken Leonard, dangerous Swede. He is, you know. Uh, you know, Chris Bjorn was probably the first Swede to be on the on the circuit. He was he was around for a long, he was around for nearly as long as Dunica. But the the next two guys that came along were Ken and his pal Peter. You know, I remember meeting Ken and and Peter in uh, in Paris. Maybe it must be eight nine years ago now. But Ken really impressed me. I got you know that back room in Paris. I was playing a tournament in there with Ken, and he was raising every pot. I mean, I, I don't often sit back and admire a guy playing, but uh, Ken won the prize that day. I mean, I thought, I thought, and I told anybody who'd listened, which is probably nobody, that uh, <laughs> that this guy was going to go right to the top. And it, it kind of, we ended up uh, sort of the Irish and the, and the uh, Swedish guys started hanging about drinking together in Paris for you know for the couple of years the guys were there. We had great fun. But then Ken kind of vanished after, I think it was after late night poker in, uh, was it 2001 2000, or 2002? Yeah. And uh, I kept asking what he was doing. They said he was sports betting or something. But then he obviously he came back with, with, a, um, with a bang in the Bellagio. Lad, or when was that, April or May? Yeah, or it was just recently. I mean, and he won a lot of yeah. money anyway. And I'm, I'm probably the least surprised guy on the planet. You know, this guy's beating TJ heads up. Well, he's one of the most highly regarded Swedish players a couple years ago, took off, but now back, won over $200,000, a big title at the Bellagio. He's at the World Series now, beat Greg Raymer head up recently. Please welcome Ken Leonard. <laughs> That's 300. <laughs> That's as good as we do. Ken. How did it feel to win at the Bellagio? It was great. I haven't played too much poker for the last years because I had a lot of business stuff to attend to. But yeah, you uh, ran out of money, was it? <laughs> uh, sort of. No. But all these young Swedes who's coming now, they never heard of my name. They don't know that I won so many tournaments in the 90s. Yeah. So uh, I proved them that I'm the best. Well, it, it, was a, <laughs> it was a very tough field at the Bellagio. Yeah, and I mean, it was, uh, it's a, it's a, it was a big event, uh, yeah. 2,500 or... Absolutely. All, most of the best players in the world were there, so I'm very happy and thrilled about the for winning. Well, you mentioned all these young Swedes coming up. Uh, you've let them catch up to you. Where have you been? The business stuff. I mean, you stopped playing poker completely. No, uh, I turned to cash games because they were more profitable. But uh, also, i done a lot of business different businesses, but uh, now uh, with added bonuses of um, corporate sponsorship around the corner, I'm turning into poker tournaments again. Well, speaking of sponsorship, you're on uh, a, a great Swedish team of poker players. I mean, Martin's team. I mean, you're talking about Martin, Jack Niff, yourself, Alexander Stevich. I mean, really tough players there. You guys are very formidable. Yeah, uh, Tobias Persson, Christy Johansson, you got all g very good players. What do you think about all this poker in Sweden? I mean, uh, there there has not been any Swedish bracelets yet at the World Series of Poker. No Swedes have made a mark 
this year yet. You think that's going to change? Yeah, not so many Swedes have come yet, so I think they'll make a big impression later on. It's quite funny because I always get this question, why are the Swedes so good at poker? And the Swedes like to say we have the perfect personality, cool but still, you know, all action when it counts. But I think it's the weather because we have so, such bad weather, so we play poker on the internet all, all year long. Well, I mean, you, you look very mild-mannered, but he, he's a raising machine, uh, Ken, isn't he? Well, he, he you played in late-night yeah. poker, yeah. Yeah, I well, played Ken in late-night poker, and I dogged him in the last hand in the week. <laughs> and to be fair to the guy, I mean, uh, we, 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 we got drunk together afterwards. And, he never, you know, when this happens and guys get a bit disappointed at that level of a tournament, you know, they normally moan for hours and end. But, I mean, he, he never <laughs> said a word about it. He knew better. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people don't know you're a huge star in Sweden right now. I mean, anything having to do with poker, they call the Swedes you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I am. I'm, you can say I'm Mr. Poker in Sweden. I wrote a column for the biggest newspaper. I'm the expert commentator on the TV show. Uh, I, ha I have a chief editor of the poker magazine. Well, what's that magazine called? Poker Magazine. Oh, where? <laughs> Where'd you come up with that? <laughs> but it all started, didn't you win uh, Survivor or something yeah. like this? Sweden uh, has this medieval Survivor show, and I won it. Jousting yeah, and we're armor and... Fighting with swords, shooting fire arrows, <laughs> you know, it's real, real cool. Any poker? No, but poker is <laughs> always present there. I, I, I maneuver the, the guys pretty good. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> there, I mean, there was a huge event that took place just a couple months ago. Uh, world champion Greg Raymer came to Sweden, and then they put him in a match against you, didn't they? Yeah, they, they did a documentary about the world champion coming to town, and I was working out at the gym, and he probably had a cheeseburger or something for a <laughs> warm-up. One we, cheeseburger? Yeah, or I don't know. Uh, so we had a heads up match and uh, I won it. So that was very exciting. Was it, on, was it on TV? Yeah, it was a big show. What do you think of the champ's game? I think uh, he, he, he was very good and I must say he has one of the best poker faces I have ever seen. <laughs> he got, I got absolutely nothing from him and uh, I think I'm a pretty good reader usually but he was it's like a stone. I couldn't get anything from him. Was he wearing the glasses? Yes. <laughs> What are your predictions for yourself for the World Series here? I think I will win. <laughs> it's very important to have... You can beat Johnny Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can beat him. Last sure. longer yeah, we we, we actually wanted to ask you, what, what, at uh, what price would you be willing to back Johnny Moss to make the final table? Uh, I don't think he will make the final table. <laughs> he, he made his final rest already. <laughs> But, I mean, yes, I say I, I believe in myself, I think I'm going to win, but it's very important for a poker player to believe in yourself and have good self-confidence. Have you had to change your game up because of these big fields? I mean, when you were winning tournaments before this Bellagio thing, I mean, you were talking about 150, 200 runner yeah. fields. Does a 2,000 does a runner field scare you now? It's a big difference because then I, I raised a couple of posts and then I won the tournament. Here there's maniacs who calling me with Jack Kai. Like last night, this guy called me with Jack High. He's just not going to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he had a 10 kick. It wasn't yeah. you, you may be seeing him again. Actually, it, it sounds I, like it was a, a guy we've had on the I, show I, already, I, the unknown poker player. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to play this guy. <laughs> no, actually, I, I play very solid in the beginning of tournaments because you have yeah, to right. survive. Yeah, me so, too. Uh, actually, I've changed my game quite a lot. But I always have the, the action in me if it's called upon. More with Ken and Donica in a minute. But first, let's see how Donica is getting on with that knee trembler out on our putting green. The knee trembler. Hey! Oh. Oh. Well, you'll be a hero in Ireland. You, you, you almost got it. Well, three guys here who would love dearly to win it, and good luck to all of you. That's going to be all for tonight. Our thanks to our guests, Ken Leonard, Donica O.D., uh, loved having you here. Good luck in the main event. Thanks also, of course, to Parig and Jackie. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint.